Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just want to take a quick moment and wish everybody a happy Easter. I'm trying to get this filmed and get the lighting right. I just wanted to um, share, I am back in Utah at the time that I am filming this and I am so happy to be back in Utah and explore Utah through the spring and summer months but off and on my reception isn't going to be the best so my videos definitely from here on can be sporadic uh, depending on my upload speed so keep that in mind I'll always try to keep updated uh, through the community tab with at least pictures so make sure you subscribe to posts and um, videos in your settings where you go to your um, subscriptions where they all feed in I believe it's there uh, where you click your choices but in the meantime it is just so amazing and just I'm just so happy to be back in Utah right now I really am I wanted to take a moment since it is Easter and share why have I all of a sudden started to share at the end of some of my videos um, some scriptures like Proverbs or Psalms from the Bible the reason I have done that is there is so much wisdom I love things that have to do or scriptures or philosophies and things um, that have to do with wisdom and I just think we are living in such hard times right now, so whether you're Christian or not, I wanted to find a neutral ground of sharing just uh, words that could have some power to anybody and everybody, no matter what religion, you know, faith or no religion, whatever ground of belief that you are coming from could still relate to everybody. Yes, I am a Christian. I never try to push my faith or beliefs on anybody. But I do know that we are living in such sad, hard uh, times where people are condemning people. They're being critical with people. Uh, just not a very uplifting time of people lifting people up or people forgiving people. Just really difficult times and I thought um, many people can benefit from from them so that's what I wanted to do when you see me on Instagram you notice that I also post great little quotes you know and they're just from different people from a broad perspective uh, because I'm just I just felt the need or the calling to just be more positive, uplifting, find um, anything out there of words of encouragement, uh, just anything that would just build people up. And I just really feel that going through the pandemic like we have, um, I just feel we all could use something like that in our life. I don't know about you, but I sure could. And sometimes they're just as much for me as they are for you too. I actually grow so much by researching uh, each one of those quotes that I attach to those pictures are really heartfelt and I search um, you know for the perfect one I really do I just don't randomly pick one and put it out there I really I pray to God and I say which one could be could speak to people the most and and they're not religious based they're just uplifting encouraging and so I just wanted to share why I have been doing that because I just feel that we all need to come together as people and uh, just keep trying to encourage people lift each other up and I hope to continue to do that this day forward and as time goes on any way that I can find a way to do that I want to do that because even though I am a Christian and I do believe the you know we call Easter the resurrection uh, day because we believe Jesus um, died on the cross for us and for our sins and um, and that he was raised from the the dead and that he uh, we will have eternity uh, forever with Christ and with God um, 
just the short version of that by by acknowledging what he did on the cross for us to bridge that gap between you know man and god jesus came in the form as a man and paid the penalty of sin once and for all for all of us um you know people sinners that we um, needed a savior and that we will have eternity one day after we leave here and be able to um, live forever with God in in heaven and in a new heaven and earth one day there's just so much um, to our belief to, to actually put it in such a uh, sh you know short video because I'm afraid I might not get this you know um, uploaded because my speeds are starting to get more complicated now. I hope you could take that good part of what we believe in as a Christian, but also just these things that I share too from the Psalms and the Proverbs. There's always so much wisdom there as well. But I could just name a list of so many other avenues that um, I always rely on or go to for encouragement. I love meditation. I do meditation. I just love meditation. I really found that when I meditate, I'm able to release uh, so much anxiety and um, it just, there's so much science to our body that uh, not all religions, you know, talk about. And so there's so much more to meditation than what some people think that is there. So we have a parasympathetic nervous system and a sympathetic, sympathetic nervous system. And meditation really helps to um, calm down that fight and flight that we're always tensed up and, and anxious. And just, you know, when, when we released adrenals to be able to um, protect ourselves, uh, we have stress hormones that we end up releasing and that's your sympathetic nervous system and you don't learn that in the Bible you don't learn that always in all religions and philosophies and things out there um, but what meditation does is help to bring in that parasympathetic nervous system the calming one let that just kinda take over or balance it out and be able to help your body to just relax and to release so it's not constantly feeling in overdrive all the time I can't tell you what an amazing change that has done to me and my body. Um, I think I've shared I've been pharmaceutical free um, for since last summer. Uh, just bringing in all these different things that I've been doing. And another one is uh, called Better, uh, Better Mind, Better Body. I wish I could remember his name, but I'll try to put it in there in text. But I had a friend that told me about him, and uh, they t the doctors told him he would never walk again. And he was looking at being on medications the rest of his life, never walking again, uh, surgeries up, you know. And the man is a testimony of 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 our mind and what our mind can also do as well to our body. Uh, through pharmaceuticals, through stress, through just so many. We have so many different ways of healing, healing or using tools to heal ourselves. And I've learned just so much that I could probably even just put in this video. So um, I hope you take that at least. <laughs> That's the gift I can give you for Easter is um, just, yeah, just just rest, relax, um, be kind to yourself, be kind to one another. That is the most message that I want to give. And you'd be so amazed on how you will change, your body will change, your mind will change. Um, and that's the greatest gift we can give to ourselves and to each other. So with that in mind, let me go get Milo and we'll just wrap this up. Where's Milo? So hopefully maybe sometime in the future I'll find a way to talk a little bit more. Um, but I had a friend share these things to me and I have just grown so much. I really have changed so much. And um, my body has been just changing and healed. I mean, it's not 100% healed, but way better than what it was, that's for sure. So, um, you doing okay? 
anyway so we just want to say happy easter everyone uh thanks for following along our journey thanks for traveling with us and uh, we look forward to seeing you in that next video we love you all bye bye